Have you ever wanted a reason to attack villagers? Well, today there is one, because in this video, every mob in Minecraft has a chance to drop its head. These heads, as well as different materials, can be used to craft anything from a fish totem to a netherite totem. This is Minecraft, but you can craft custom totems. The question today is, can I use all of these crazy totem abilities to beat the ender dragon? Watch till the end to find out. Mob totems, but I can also craft totems from any material in the game. The way these are crafted is by placing two iron and two two gold in a crafting table, and then depending on what item you put in the middle, you can get a different type of totem, so like, this is definitely going to be pretty interesting. I'm just going to start running around this forest and look for mobs. Yes, we found a sheep, okay. So whenever I kill a mob, it has a really low chance to drop its head. It sounds kind of cursed, but trust me, it is cool, okay. So I'm just going to run around this forest and kill as many mobs as I can until something drops a mob head. Yo, I got it. Let's go. So to craft this into a totem, all I need to do is get two iron and two gold. And I think I just found a, yeah, ruined portal. Okay. And we have a gold block. Okay. I can't even mine this right now, but we do have a chest with, how much is this? 26. Okay. Perfect. And we have a golden pickaxe and then just like a flint and steel as well. Dude, there's a village here too. Okay. This could be quite good. There are some caves down here, but I'm just going to kill the golem instead because it's way quicker. Oh wait, I found a blacksmith, dude. Wait, are there two golems? Wait, dude, what? That's literally never happened to me in Minecraft before. What the? Okay, well, I can get a bunch of iron from them, and then we have, dude, seven iron and a bunch of food. Okay, this is actually perfect, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually kill some villagers, because the villagers... No, dude, why is it attacking me? I'm only killing villagers, dude. I didn't even know they did that. Okay, well, dude, there are golems coming for me. Okay, just give me a villager head. We got one, but the golem's protecting it. Okay, just follow me around the tree, and we are going to retrieve the villager skull. Let's go. And now, if I just go ahead and place two gold like this, and then two iron like this, we can craft ourselves the villager totem. Dude, I hear the golem coming. Wait, no, this is good, actually, because I need to die to activate the totems. So, uh, yo, golem, would you like- <laughs> Oh, oh my- Dude, look at this loot. What is that? I'm pretty sure this is just the loot from tons of blacksmith chests. Okay, I need to be very careful right now, but that is actually so good. We have seven gold and 26 irons, so I can craft any totem that I want to right now. Okay, time to use our pig head to craft ourselves the pig totem, so it's gonna put this here. And as you can see, I now have another totem, which means it's time to punch the iron golem. Oh boy. Three, two, one. Oh my, no. Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. I don't know how I didn't see that coming, honestly. Okay, the pig totem gave me some hay bales and cooked pork chops. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and craft ourselves an iron totem. Look at this, dude. This actually looks so cool. Okay, I need to be kind of careful this time, but let's just go ahead and hit our golem. Okay, let's activate this thing. Here we go. Oh my, okay, dude. Let's just try and sweep all of this. Wait, dude, what if I get an iron golem head? The golem totem could be so good. Yes, dude, we got it. Okay, there we go. Iron golem skull. I'm looking very fresh right now. But dude, look how much iron I got from this totem. That is actually insane. Do I just have full armor now? I do. Okay, this is actually crazy. I wonder if I can get a fish totem. Please drop a head, Salmon. Come on. Come on. Give me a fish totem. Dude, we got a fish head. This is actually the best one yet. Look at this thing. Did we get another one? Yes, we did. Okay, two fish skulls right now. Okay, I actually have no idea what this is going to do. So this is going to be kind of interesting. Let's just go ahead and craft ourselves one fish totem. There we go. Look at this thing. I'm running kind of low on gold right now, so we're gonna go back to the ruined portal after this. Okay, it is time. Let's activate this fish totem. Oh my, what is this? Dude, wait, why are there guardians? Dude, is there an elder guardian there? Wait, hold up. Can I make a guardian totem though? Dude, am I gonna die from this? I'm pretty sure guardians like do a lot of damage, but we're just gonna try and get one head and leave. Is this really all the fish totem gave me? Just a bunch of raw fish? Like that is actually so bad. Oh no, the guardian's in the water. No, 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 no. Dude, I got the Elder Guardian effect. Are you actually kidding? Come on, give me a Guardian head, please. Dude, why are actual fish this quick on land? Come on, just give me the Guardian head. Yes, we got it. Let's go. I'm just gonna die to this golem and then tactically... Dude, are you actually kidding? Are you actually kidding? I got the effect again. Okay, we have our guardian head back, and I finally don't have mining fatigue anymore, which is quite good. The fish head sucks, so I'm just gonna leave it on the ground. And now I'm just gonna grab this block right here, because this will mean that I can craft, like, five more totems. So we can craft two more right now. First of all, we have the guardian totem, and then with this iron golem skull, we can craft the iron golem totem. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, a gold totem, dude. Should I do that? I actually do have enough, so I think it'll be worth it. Look how good 
this looks. Oh my, this is actually insane. All right, we're just gonna make a chest and put like a bunch of items in here because I just have so much stuff right now. And we're just gonna use the gold totem right now. Okay, I golem. Do it. Oh my, dude, no, I died again. Luckily, I slept in a bed, so we're all good. Dude, look how much gold is here. We got gold blocks and everything. 46 gold in total right now and 27 golden apples. Six enchanted golden apples, dude. Okay, let's do the iron golem totem. Let's get killed by an iron golem and activate the iron golem totem. I want to be careful though. I'm not getting double killed this time, okay? Yo, look how much iron is here, dude. Some potions as well. We have jump boost, fire resistance, and resistance. Okay, that is quite good. And now finally, for the guardian totem, please be good. After all of that effort, it better be good, okay? Bang. Okay, I see. It looks like just buckets. It looks like just buckets of fish, dude. Oh, there's a trident, an enchanted trident. Elder Wand, Guardian Sight 4. What is that? I mean, I have a trident now, which is going to be really good for killing mobs. So that's definitely good. If I right click it, what? Oh, what is that? Dude, it's shooting out beams. Okay, well, apparently this is Guardian Sight. Uh, does it do more? It two taps zombies. Dude, I literally have like a Guardian gun right now. This is insane. Okay, I like this item. That is definitely good. That is definitely good. And I'll take a second iron golem head as well. And I think now I'm just going to run around and try and collect a couple more heads. We have a horse here. Yeah, this is another totem that Wisp added. Oh, and I got a horse head first try. Let's go. Okay, well, I do have a horse skull and just everything I need to craft more totems. So we're going to go ahead and like try out as many as I can right now. And we got a zombie head as well. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put this here. And then the horse skull goes there. And now we have a horse totem. Okay. Okay, let's just let this skeleton shoot me until it acts. Activates. How did it miss? I was standing still. Dude, how? You suck. This skeleton is the worst skeleton. All right, here we go. It's about to activate. Oh my, dude. There are like hundreds of horse spawn eggs. I can literally get any horse I want. And we got a skeleton skull too. Okay. We are actually on a roll right now. I'm getting so many. Okay, skeleton totem. We're going to keep this and put it in my offhand just to make sure that I don't die. So from the horse totem, I got some saddles, diamond horse armor, and then zombie horse spawn eggs wait, wait skeleton horse spawn eggs and then just like regular horse spawn eggs as well okay which horse is actually the best though which one's the fastest skeleton horse can i even tame this thing you can't even tame it what okay what about a zombie horse can i tame you nope okay uh what about a donkey can i tame you yup okay we have a horse and i'm just gonna put like gold horse armor on okay we're gonna activate the skeleton totem right now oh my we got arrows and what is this a bow i'm gonna keep the crossbow actually i think the crossbow is probably the best dude it's my horse. All right, we have diamond horse armor now, and I think, honestly, oh yeah, wait, emerald totem. Where did my emeralds go? I think I left them in the village or something. Let's also craft a zombie totem as well and just use this to, like, stay alive if I die accidentally. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, so far, the best totem is actually the villager totem, so I might have to, uh, just, like, you know, maybe get some villager heads. I am very sorry, villagers, but it has to be done. Your totems are way too good. Yes, we got it first try. Okay, perfect. All right, we have our second villager totem. There are still so many material totems that I haven't even crafted yet. Like the netherite totem, the emerald totem. Those are going to be what I'm aiming for from now on because I feel like they're just going to be quite good. How do I even die right now, dude? I wonder if I can hit myself with an arrow. Come on, hit me. Yes, let's go. It actually worked. 38 emeralds. Okay, we're about to get so many emerald totems and then six diamonds as well. Dude, villager totems are actually so OP. Okay, we're going to make an emerald block and then go ahead and do this. And now we have our third material totem. Okay, all right, let's just go ahead and burn myself and the emerald totem gives me. Dude, what is this? There's literally netherite ingots. This is like bastion chests, I think. Okay, this is getting slightly out of hand. I have a hero of the village effect for nine minutes. Okay, emerald totems are definitely the best so far, like by a mile. Diamond chest plate, I'm breaking one. There we go. A netherite ingot. Okay, wait, I can literally craft a diamond totem and a netherite totem right now. Oh my, we are about to be so stacked, dude. Okay, here we go. Diamond totem right here. And I'm just gonna craft the netherite one right now as well. Oh my, dude, look in this is insane. Dude, did that villager just hand me a villager skull? That is the most cursed thing I have ever witnessed in Minecraft. Anyway, I'll pretend that didn't happen. Um, We have a netherite totem and also a diamond totem right now. So I don't really know how it's going to get more OP than this, but like, I guess I'm willing to find out. So let's just walk into the fire right now and hold this diamond totem. Here we go. 
Bang. Diamond totem is activated. Okay, this seems like the netherite totem, but even more insane. I have 12 diamonds right now, so we got like double the amount of diamonds, which is insane. I have way too much gold right now. A Bane of Athropods 5 sword, okay. Three netherite ingots from one totem. This is just crazy. Oh, dude, maybe I should save this and try out the lapis and redstone ones first. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna save this till later, okay? It's too good to be used right now. I still need to actually beat Minecraft, so we're gonna go to the nether and craft a piglin totem and a blaze totem. We can just get infinite pearls with the gold that I have, so this is gonna be a very quick trip, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and place ourselves some lava buckets, and there we go. The portal is complete. Okay, Bastion right in front of my spawn, which is very good. If I need piglins, I now know where to go. Oh, I found one right here. Okay, give me your head, piglin. I feel so bad because I actually like piglins, but whatever. Let's go. We got it first try. Piglin skull. This is probably just gonna give me a bunch of gold, but I'm still gonna use it anyway, okay? It looks too cool not to be used. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, I have Feather Falling full. Wait, wait. Yes, I found a Hoglin. Perfect. My armor is actually way too insane. Let me just like take off my leggings really quick. And there we go. Piglin Totem activated. And yeah, we just have even more gold, dude. Should I try out the Zombie Totem as well since I'm here? Here we go. And the Zombie Totem gives me potions, I think. Okay, I'm gonna eat a Notch Apple right now so I have fire resistance because I have six. So I might as well just like use one. So I got a bunch of potions from the Zombie Totem, which is kind of cool, but not really what I need. And I found the Fortress. Okay, where are the Blaze Spawners? That is the question. Also, I should probably give some gold to these piglins and just like get them trading so I can have a bunch of obsidian when I come back. I can literally give them like three stacks so we don't even have to worry. I hear a blaze somewhere. Where is it? Come on, please. Oh, I found it. Okay. Hello, blaze. So basically, give me your head. Come on. We didn't even get a... Okay, we got nothing. I have my netherite totem in my offhand just in case because like I don't want to die after coming this far. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can get a blaze head. Come on. Give me a head or else still none. With a skeleton, maybe. Yup. We got a wither skeleton skull. Let's go. Yes, I got one. Let's go. Finally, we have a blaze head and I am being, oh my, what is going on? Dude, three blaze heads. Literally, this is insane though. I don't know why I'm freaking out. My armor is so good. What the? Why did a piglin just put on the head? I didn't know they could do that. That's insane. Okay. All right, well, I can craft two more totems right now. We're going to craft a blaze totem and we are going to craft a wither skeleton totem. Let's go. Wait, I can make even more netherite totems. Okay, I'll just make like another two because, you know, they look very OP. And now it's got to take a bunch of damage. So let's just go ahead and hold our blaze totem and i think yo a bunch of blaze rods that's actually like quite good how many do i have right now we have 10 okay yep that is definitely enough i will take it okay and then we're gonna let this blaze attack again now time for the wither skeleton totem oh no 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 no! i'm getting kind of low actually yo should i just use the netherite one dude should i just do it oh there's a book here though fire aspect x that's quite good but i feel like the netherite totem might be a little bit better okay we'll just let this piglin attack let's do it oh my look how much netherite is there what the oh and the piglins are just trading very cool all right i'm gonna put on my armor i got an elytra dude smite four diamond sword okay yeah this is definitely end city loot oh no it put on the netherite armor dude i did not see netherite armor okay bang netherite helmet how much is there netherite boots netherite leggings is there a chest plate too i don't even need a chest plate actually because i have an elytra now so we're kind of uh just a little bit stacked you know what? we're just gonna activate both of these netherite totems let's just do it okay and how much netherite do i have now this is actually just crazy 20 netherite ingots right now another elytra and even more end city loot no where did it go okay i kind of died but i ran back and everything is fine okay bro how did i even die with this much gear this is actually insane okay okay i'm gonna let these piglins trade right here and uh another gold totem would actually be quite useful so i'm just gonna use one of these let's let this gold totem activate so i have a bunch more to trade with piglins uh you good and there we go so much gold i just want to leave because hoglins are like actually the worst i'm just gonna get all the piglins to go inside of here come on yes okay we're gonna get so many pearls now six pearls so far okay 10 obsidian and i have 10 pearls come on one more trade yes there we go 13 all right that is all i need oh 15 actually that was actually quite fast and then i'm going to build my portal at 150 150 so let's place our obsidian like this and bang okay please be very close to the stronghold yo there are so many endermen nearby this is actually insane okay oh yeah also guys there is an ender dragon totem which is going to be very interesting Yo, Enderman head. Let's go. My armor is just way too OP. I'm just tanking the damage right now. Okay, we have an Enderman totem. Let's see if this is good. Yo, there are a lot of enderpearls. Okay, what is this? There's a diamond hole with the teleport enchantment. Yo, this is actually insane. What the? I can go so fast. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and make ourselves some eyes of ender. I'm just gonna make 12 because we have so many. And now we are just gonna jitter click and travel very quickly and then throw another one and it's gone the other direction. Also, guys, if you made it to this point of the video, make a comment about 
about the squid totem. It doesn't actually exist, but since you made it this far into the video, you're in on the joke, okay? We are going to confuse everybody who isn't a true subscriber. Okay, I just changed direction again, so I'm pretty sure the stronghold is literally just going to be like right... Okay, it's this one. Grow this. Yup, it's going down. Okay, it's going to dig down right here, and it should take me to the stronghold staircase. Yo, okay, we are now in the stronghold. Okay, we have another ender pearl. It's pretty good. It goes down here. And I found the portal room. Okay, cool. I kind of want to find some wood really quick so I can make a netherite axe before I go in. Yeah, I'm just going to grab some from this library. Like, a lot of it's burned down, but literally all I need is like eight, I think. Then we can go ahead and make ourselves a smithing table. And then, actually, I don't have any diamonds. So I guess I'll just make a couple of netherite totems just to get diamonds because I can get some. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we might have like possibly duplicated netherite or uh, yeah yeah okay what is that dude i don't know what i did all right it is time let's just like blow up this creeper and how did the skeletons not die from that and they're just fighting okay i'm like this video is just too cursed and there we go diamonds finally now it's gonna go ahead and make ourselves a diamond axe and then finally if i just place this in the upgrade table we now have a netherite axe wait can i upgrade this to a netherite hoe with teleport does that work netherite hoe as well let's go the last thing i gotta do before i go in is get the redstone and lapis totems so hopefully i can find some in this cave yep we found redstone okay i need one more and i can make the redstone totem there's some here i found some lapis but i don't think it's enough oh it's nine okay perfect now i just gotta go ahead and make myself a redstone block and also a lapis block. Okay, this goes here and this goes here. Redstone totem. This one actually looks so cool. And then finally, we got to do the lapis one. Bang. Oh boy, these actually look so cool. Lapis or redstone first? That is the question. I think I will go for redstone. Okay, let's do this. We got TNT. Uh, This seems like mineshaft loot, probably. Oh, a lot of TNT. 39 and then bread as well. 25 diamonds. Okay, yeah, that, that was kind of good. I mean, redstone isn't that rare, so I don't expect it to be that good and then finally we have the lapis totem the final totem apart from the ender dragon one for this video i didn't get anything wait what dude it literally didn't give me anything okay well wait what the what is this enchanting potion effect dude look at my gear what is this i am literally just getting enchantment levels on everything sharpness five efficiency sharpness six netherite axe dude what is going on unbreaking six okay that was slightly overpowered we're we're a little bit stacked now i kind of just have a uh sharp seven netherite axe now i'm just gonna go ahead and make myself a bunch of eyes of ender there are so many silverfish skulls on the ground right now Okay, put all of these in before the silverfish destroy me. And let's go. Let's go, dude. Oh, what is this pickaxe? This is actually insane. Efficiency 10 pickaxe. Dude, this axe is actually going to shred the dragon. Okay, we have a potion of levitation, which I can use to start like climbing up. And then uh, what else should I drink? Like jump boost 3 could be kind of good. And then also resistance as well. Okay, I'm just going to pillar up this tower. We're going to eat a notch apple as well, just because I can. And we're going to start breaking crystals. Let's go. I have like so much resistance. So uh, I don't really think there's much of a risk of me dying right now, to be honest. I have blast protection, I think. So I can literally just like charge into these crystals and just not even worry. Oh, it perched. Okay, I'm going to try and do as much damage as I can right now. No! Okay, All right, we're nose diving down. Come here, Ender Dragon. Come here. Attack. Oh, dude, this axe is actually insane. Let's go. When it next comes down, I'm just going to use TNT and destroy it, okay? It punched again. Let's do this. I'm going to do as much damage as possible. And I'm just going to place down TNT. All right, come on. Do some damage. Come on. Okay, that was actually kind of good. That was kind of good. It's punching again. I have an enderman on me for some reason. Okay, can I get in here? Yes. Come on. I'm going to do as much damage as I can. There is literally... I'm taking so much damage, dude. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's getting so low now. One more and the dragon is done for. Yes, it's punching again. Let's do this. It's time to say goodbye, dragon. Give me the dragon head, okay? I'm going to go right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, it's so low. It's so low. Here it comes. Goodbye, dragon. And there we go. Let's go, dude. Look how many Enderman skulls are here. And we got the dragon head. This is going to make such a good totem, dude. All right, we are back in the village. Let's go ahead and just like break down some trees really quickly. Make a crafting table. And now, okay, if I put this in the middle, as you can see, we have our ender dragon totem. I think I know how I want to activate it. We're going to just like run ahead first into this guardian. And here we go. Dude, look at these. Super dragon eggs. Look at my health. Regen. Generation 10. Okay, well, these have looting 1,000, sharpness 1,000. Let's just go ahead and hit the uh, the Elder Guardian. Oh my... <laughs> Look how much fish it's here. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching that video. Also,